February is Dragon Ball month. Why? Because it's the 30th anniversary of the Dragon Ball anime premiering on television in Japan, February 26, 1986. So I thought it would be a perfect time to bring back the critically acclaimed icons of the Dragon Ball community. The interview series where I interview people who I feel have made important contributions to the Dragon Ball community in one way or another. Last October, we kicked off Phase 1. Phase 2 officially begins next week. So who is in the lineup for Phase 2 of Icon? of the Dragon Ball community. Every single Friday in February at 4 p.m. we present a new interview and it all begins Friday, February 5th as I talk to the founder and creator of Dragon Ball Insider, Anthony Putignano, as we talk about how he got into Dragon Ball, his history, his growth of Dragon Ball Insider, and a whole lot more. Lots of fun. Then, February 12th, perhaps the most controversial interview with one of the most controversial figures in our community. However, no matter how you feel, he is a pioneer, and we're going to get to the bottom of it as I ask him the hard questions that many of you have been wondering about. Not just about Dragon Ball and what he's done in the community, but also his professional wrestling career and everything in between. Unreal ENT Gaming, one of the first Dragon Ball YouTubers ever, joins me. And boy, I'm telling you right now, like him or hate him, it's up to you. This interview is going to blow your mind. You will learn a lot about Unreal that I am positive that many of you had no idea about. Then... Very pleased to have this man on, co-headlining this edition or this phase of Icons of the Dragon Ball community on February the 19th. A man whose real name is Heath Cutler, but he's going to come on as Hujio, the co-founder of Konzenshu, the webmaster, the creator of not just Konzenshu, but also Konzentai. As we talk about the Dragon Ball fandom, we talk about the history of Konzenshu and Konzentai. We talk about how he built the entire website from scratch with only Notepad and Photoshop. Yes, I'm not kidding. And the one that a lot of you are going to want to hear, we are going to be going super in-depth about Toei's animation woes. If you've been wondering about the animation in Toei and what's going on, Hujio has the answers. This interview was incredible. I was so happy to do it. That is, of course. So who is the other co-headliner? Well, yes, folks, this is not a joke. This is real life. I will be joined on February 26th, the anniversary of Dragon Ball, by a man who I'm sure 95% of you know who this man is. He is the voice of Vegeta, the voice of Piccolo, the voice of Yamcha, the voice of the Eternal Dragon. He has been involved in the Dragon Ball community slash production end of things for many years. The ADR director for several anime, including Dragon Ball Kai, producer. The man has a resume that really knows no bounds. He's done video games you've played. I will talk to Mr. Christopher R. Sabat on Icons Phase 2. And a lot of you are going to be very surprised by what he says as we talk about the history of Funimation. We talk about the early days of dubbing Dragon Ball Z and some of the woes and some of the trouble they had to go through it. We talk about Dragon Ball Kai. We talk about his history. It's going to be awesome. And yeah, like I said, it's real. No joke. Chris Sabat and Geekdom one-on-one. -on -one. So I trust that you guys will be here every single Friday at 4 p.m. to listen to our interviews with icons of the Dragon Ball community. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for getting me so far in a year. I am very humbled and very blessed. If it wasn't for your support, if it wasn't for your loyalty, none of this would happen. And I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I promise you that these interviews are going to entertain and educate you beyond anything so thank you once again and i'll catch you down the road starting next week as we all celebrate 30 years of love for dragon ball hey super tubers don't forget to rate comment subscribe and spread the word about the channel and find me on these social media platforms